Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to record screencasts on Windows using PowerPoint. So I'm going to open up PowerPoint. Notice this is PowerPoint 2016. It doesn't work on previous versions. Also note that this will not work on the Mac version of PowerPoint 2016. At the moment, it's Windows only. So we can just open up a blank presentation. It's not important if you even save this file, you could open it in an existing PowerPoint file. That part of it doesn't matter. So let's go to Insert. And here we have the option for screen recording at the far right. So I click that, PowerPoint minimizes and gives me this toolbar at the top and this cursor to allow me to select the part of the screen I want to record. So I could select parts of the screen or the entire screen, depending on my needs. For now, I'll go for the entire screen. And we're ready to record. If you want to select that again, you can just click on Select Area. Before we record, though, it's worth double-checking that your audio is set up correctly. So the way you do that is with the speaker icon at the bottom, right-click on it and go to Recording Devices. So here, for example, I'm using my USB headset to record. So I want the tick to be there, not on my webcam, for example. So that looks fine. So I say OK. And then we're ready to record. Windows, logo key, shift and Q is your shortcut if you want to stop. But that went away quite quickly. But don't worry, because as soon as you need to stop, you can go to the top and the toolbar comes back. So you don't actually have to remember that key if you don't need to. So we can record. We'll see how this looks later when we stop. And when we're ready, we go to the top and press the stop button. Now it appears as a media file within PowerPoint, assuming that you're going to build a PowerPoint presentation around it. But if you don't want to do that, if you want to just upload this video to YouTube or do anything else with it, what you need to do is right click and say save media as. I'll put that on my desktop and media one is as good a name as any at the moment. Save that, and minimize PowerPoint and there it is. We can watch it. E Shift and Q is your shortcut. That seems fine. I'm just going to later when we stop. And when Okay, so the frame rate isn't very good on these PowerPoint recordings. But you can see when I make it full screen, the quality isn't too bad. But there are other options. In case you were wondering how I'm able to record a screencast about a screencast, the answer is that I'm using a different program to record this, which is Camtasia. Uh, also pronounced Camtasia. I'm not actually sure which is correct. But anyway, Camtasia costs money, and I'm only using the trial version. So it's not an option for free. And if you already have PowerPoint 2016, I'd recommend that. Alternatively, if you don't want to spend any money at all, there are free programs. One of them is Cam Studio, but this can be a little finickety and not so great for the novice. But things are always simpler when you pay money for them anyway. But I think Camtasia is your best option, but PowerPoint is good enough in most circumstances. And if you need to do any editing on your screencast once you've finished recording it, there are a few free editors you can use. Uh, I would recommend Windows Movie Maker to make simple edits. Okay, thanks for watching.